Welcome to IS Center for Quantum Technologies at HKUST. The first quantum revolution is the driven force of information age. It is the underlying technology for building transistors, laser, MR imaging, and nuclear power. Now we're at the age of the second quantum revolution, combining quantum physics with information science, or more formally, we're manipulating quantum entanglement for information processing. Our mission is to develop the next generation quantum technology and to train the next generation quantum engineers and entrepreneurs. Our research areas include quantum materials, quantum devices, quantum control, and quantum software, leading to applications in computation, communication, and sensing. As you can see over here, we use this software with a classical computer to control the quantum computer over here. The quantum computing can be modeled by a famous quantum circuit model. We apply the quantum gates in the qubits and do the computation. As you can see over here, uh, this gate set can create the superposition and entanglement in these qubits. And we finally measure the qubits and get the results that we want. Beyond this uh, high-level control system, we also provide the low-level control uh, for this quantum computer. Uh, we can send the actually magnetic field inside the qubits and uh, find many interesting uh, physical phenomena in this quantum computer. Welcome to Dipolar Quantum Gas Lab. Our lab mainly consists of three parts. One is laser table, machine table, and a construct station. Since we are using two main uh, transitions of Arvim, we have two lasers. One is a yellow laser and blue laser. And we deliver this light from laser table to the machine table. And we can do the spectroscopy, laser cooling and trapping. And we can also do the ODT and evaporation cooling. Uh, and finally, we can achieve Bose-Einstein condensate in 15 nanocarbon temperature in the ultra high vacuum chamber. And we can control almost everything in the control station. With the help of anastropic and long-range interaction in dipolar Bose-Einstein candidate, we can explore many-body physics in beyond mean physics uh, regime, for example, quantum droplet and super solidity. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Our lab is uh, working on matter surfaces. So these are an array of uh, nanostructures that are fabricated on a very thin surface. So um, this shows some examples of these nanostructures. They can be used in any form, designed into any form, so that we can manipulate light passing through them um, with very fine resolution. So we have been using them to make holograms, um, for example, and also we can use it to control and manipulate like uh, these uh, vortex beams by going through these matter surfaces. So right now in our lab, we are interested in using or applying these matter surfaces in the very low light regime in the regime that we can count them one by one. So, um, for example, we can discover new kind of physics from these matter surfaces um, to manipulate quantum interference for a um, uh, for few of these uh, photons being counted. Or we can use it later on uh, to help imaging in the very low light regime, or we can use it in anti counterfeiting purposes. Um, so this uh, is our introduction, and in the remaining time, I will let Git to tell you a little bit more about the platform here. <laughs>